Good morning. This is Mr. Bandy. I'm going to go over using a ruler. Uh, we've got a worksheet here. You guys had done this uh, a few weeks ago, and I know a lot of you probably didn't get it completely finished, so uh, I'm going to issue it again so that we can actually work on it and get all of our measurements correct. There's two sides. This one here, we're going to draw the line to the given measurement. Then on this other side, we're actually going to measure the line and then write it down over here in the blank. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and turn some light on so we can see it a little bit better. So on this first one, I always want to be sure I line up the zero with the start of the line. And I'm going to measure over. It looks like it hits right here on this line. Now I don't have to count all these other smaller spaces because I just have to count the spaces to that line and any line bigger. So I got one, two, three. And that size line is representing the, the four as your denominator. You can always look at my board up on the, the whiteboard and you'll be able to see that, the different size lines and what those lines represent. If you remember the ruler program that we've been using, they are color coded. So I'm going to write three fourths over here. Now I come to the second line. Make sure my zero is uh, lined up with this side. Okay, I have one inch. We'll go ahead and write down one inch. And then I have a quarter. Remember this one over here was three quarters. This is the same size line. And it's just the first one from the one. So that's going to be one and one quarter. So I write that down. One and one fourth. Okay, let's go to number three. See, now this one comes over and it's lined up with a little small line, the littlest one, so that would represent a sixteenth of my denominator. Remember, my options as a denominator, the number on the bottom is six, eight, four, and two. That's the only options that I have. And that is represented on the ruler by the different sized lines. There's a half, there's the quarter, there's the eighth, and that's a sixteen. So I have one, and how many do I have across here? Let's start right here, because I know that one is equal to eight sixteenths. Same as one half, and then it's one more than that. So that would be one, eight sixteenths, nine sixteenths. So one and nine sixteenths. going to do just a couple more. I'll do the first five and then I want you to do the rest. And please make it legible over here so that it can be read. And you notice how I'm writing the fractions. Okay, this one. I do one. There's the whole number one. And again, it falls on a, not the half, but the next size, which represents quarters. One quarter and three quarters. So that would be one and three quarters. Let's go to number five and this will be the last one I do on this side. There's the two. Looks like it lines up closest to that line right there which is just one space on that that little line so two and one sixteenth. So let's do five on the other side. Well, lucky there, I already got one. I'm done for you. Man, ain't that easy. So what I'm going to do, I got five sixteenths. So I want to line up my zero with the line. And I want to come over here to five sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five. There it is, five sixteenths. Draw my line. Let's go to the next one. Line up my zero got five eighths. So now I'm not going to count all these little spaces. I'm only going to count these spaces. So there's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. And draw my line. Oops, oops. Oh, that's ugly. Don't want to do that. Then fifteen sixteenths. 
Now we understand, I hope we understand that this is the same thing right here as 16 over 16. Right? It's like a whole pizza. 16 slices of 16 slices. Yeah, makes sense, yeah, I guess. Huh? Yeah? Yeah, okay. So, what if I took one slice out? I would have 15 over 16. And that would be right there. That's like the whole pizza minus one slice, and there it is. Okay, now here's the example that I've already done for you is one and one eighth. It's like slicing the pizza up into eighths. So I got one and one eighth pizza. All them other seven pieces are gone. Last but not least, one and seven sixteenths, the number five here. One and seven sixteenths. So I come over here to one. And then I'm going to count over to 7 sixteenths, which is all these little spaces here, every one of them. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There it is, 7 sixteenths. And then I connect the dots. There you go. 5 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 15 sixteenths, 1 and an eighth, 1 and 7 sixteenths. This takes a little bit of time. I want nice lines, even lines. I want to be able to read it. I want to be able to put my ruler down there and, and verify that you, you can do this. Okay? Until next time. See you later. Bye.